A lot of times when customers see a travel trailer with only one slide, they instantly think that their half ton truck should be able to pull it. But when you have sleeping room for eight, nine, or even 10 individuals, the GVWR can quickly climb to nine or even 10,000 pounds once the trailer is fully loaded out. What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom and today we're gonna to be viewing that brand new 2022 Palomino Puma Model 28 VHSS. Two bedroom, one bath floor plan with an outdoor kitchen and just so much more. We're gonna start the outside of the coach going over its different features before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming in just shy of 37 feet long is this 2022 Palomino Puma Model 28 BHSS. Two bedroom, one bath floor plan with sleeping room possibly for eight or nine, just really depending on the size of your guest. 96 inches wide with a dry weight of 7,475 pounds. And speaking of weight, hitch weight on this coach, 835 pounds with a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,000 63 pounds sitting on a 10 inch i-beam construction this coach is going to be level or stabilized should i say from two sets of electric jacks one in the front one in the rear and i say stabilized because those jacks are not utilized for leveling just to stabilize city water connection found over here next to your six gallon gas or electric hot water heater right underneath that outdoor shower with hot and cold water good place maybe to wash off your dog set up a table and even possibly clean some fish here on the front of the coach electric tongue jack with two 20 pound propane bottles and that black material here is kind of a diamond plate diamond plate sheet metal maybe to assist some of the different road debris that's kicked up from your vehicle and that red switch right over there is the battery disconnect switch and there will be a plastic battery housing that is placed there once the camper is sold plenty of storage even though it's not passed through it's still pretty big about three feet deep three feet wide maybe two feet tall the back is doors are held up with this plastic clip they're about a half inch thick with this traditional style locking mechanism there the front jacks will have its own independent switch they'll only go down until they feel a certain amount of pressure before they completely cut off which they just did you got two different doors one right into the bathroom that's right at 24 inches wide, five foot 10. And that door does have a friction hinge. Keeps it from swinging back, causing damage to that awning. 20 foot awning, by the way. Black in color with the white LED lights found underneath those. Outdoor speakers, TV connections. Let's see if I can't get over here and give you a better shot of that. So you could possibly hang a television here. TV connections plus your 110 power outlet. And there's those white LED lights with those outdoor speakers as well. Black tank flush. So once you're finished camping, you must bring your water line to this side of the camper just to hook up your black tank flush to clean out all your septic systems and your fresh water connection. If you're boondocking, that's where you'll be filling those holding tanks over here. That fresh water holding tank, should I say. Make sure I'm speaking correctly. This set of steps, not like the front steel ones, these slip up and in, those slip underneath. These are gonna be a step above brand with about a 12 inch top platform to assist with opening and closing the door. And that should be grab handle as well. Camp kitchen found on the back, gray stone griddle. Good place to cook maybe some bacon, pancakes. I like this one compared to the two eye burner that used to be involved with some of these campers. Hot and cold water, but you're not gonna have a plumb sink. It's more of a basin. We can just dump out all of your water. And you do have some additional storage found under here as well. Good place maybe for some utensils while cooking. Everteal miniature refrigerator. And that's going to be the rear set of leveling jacks with its own independent switch as well. And again, only going to go down until it feels a certain amount of pressure before it completely cuts off. Not utilized to level, only to stabilize. And that's your LP disconnect switch for that outdoor griddle. 250 pound low capacity on that ladder. Spare tire, pray that you never have to utilize that, but if you do, it is provided. Four by four tubular bumper, good place to store all of your sewer lines once you're finished camping. 
coming around you got a rack and pinion slide unlike some other models we carry that has an electric excuse me a cable driven slide 80 percent tint on all of your windows and these are breeze windows i'll open those up once we get inside to show you how much of a cross breeze you possibly could have sewer connections you got one that way you're not bouncing back and forth having multiple hoses just one and all the pull handles are also located right over there with it as well so if you ever find yourself out shopping at other dealerships and you just wanted to gain some additional information without maybe bothering a salesperson next to your main entry door is going to have a lot of information for you for the model number as well as if it has like an additional season packaging or even if it has like a solar option for it those stickers are always going to be located next to the main entry door and we deal with a lot of different brands here at camper kingdom and just about every single one of them has some sort of information there but one thing also i hear a lot of customers that tell me that hey model 28 bhss that's 28 feet right mm, not exactly this camper here you're looking at 36 feet almost 37 feet 36 feet 10 inches to be exact so mm, not exactly don't really depend on that number to give you the exact length of the camper you're looking at but 5 foot 10 slide box 38 inches deep coach has sleeping room possibly for eight maybe nine people that's going to be a jack nice sleeper sofa there and all the windows that i have open at the moment they will be breeze windows trimmed out with a valance on the top with gray roller shades u-shaped dinette booth and i'll lay that flat closer towards the end to show you how much sleeping room you'll have as well as closing all those blackout shades and that's that access from the outside that i was showing you maybe for some additional storage for bigger items your heat inside of this coach is mainly going to come from the propane through the five floor vents found in the floor but you do have some additional heating as well all electric graystone fireplace producing right at 5000 BTUs of heat but if you don't camp in the winter you can turn the heat off and just utilize the cool lights coming from that fireplace maybe to assist your guest room maybe to mount about a maybe a 42 inch television there as well coming around to your kitchen floor to ceiling pantry so you're not going to be looking for storage space on the inside you certainly have plenty of storage space Everchill 12 volt refrigerator 11 cubic foot and this will work off the vehicle power going down the road so it keeps all of your goods nice and cold an okay amount of kitchen counter space I mean it is just a weekend kind of camper this coach is not designed to be living in an additional cabinetry also provided for you there this unit is going to have two air conditioning units fireplace fully enclosed underbelly the countertops are what I call a pressed membrane countertop it's a hard heated plastic wrapped over a Formica type material but when they do that it prevents it from swelling if these countertops ever make contact with water stainless steel single bake basin sink with a residential high-rise faucet as well graystone oven 21 inches across it's pretty much a standard size oven found in your your family type camper that you're looking at now maybe a room for a couple pans of pizza a pan of biscuits as well heading all the way to the front where you've got this 60 by 80 queen size bed and you do have two hanging closets on both sides of the bed as well north to south on your bed you do have additional storage found underneath so if you do happen to upgrade your mattress you do have the hydraulic cylinders to assist because these little mattresses on here they're typically the first thing that gets upgraded on a lot of coaches today both of the windows will be breeze windows but this one over here is an emergency exit labeled with that exit sign right there 12 volt and 110 outlets found on this side but only a 110 outlet over here and you do have that additional shelving for the additional accessories you bring along with you coming right around just going to look up roof mounted air conditioner 13.5 control knobs right over here so no thermostat mounted to the wall and that white sticker there identifies the TV backer so you can possibly add an additional television. Coming back to your bathroom with its own private entrance on the outside. Ceiling height in the coach of right at 80 inches. The bathroom gives you the additional skylight for some additional headroom. Full radius 34 by 34 shower. It's a two piece plastic shower. It looks like you got about a 12 inch step up to get in there. Plastic foot flush toilet, additional cabinetry provided at the foot of the toilet there with a stainless steel drop-in bowl sink and the medicine cabinet also provided. So I've gone ahead in the living room and laid flat that U-shaped booth 
and laid flat the jackknife sofa to show you guys how much sleeping room you possibly have as well as to show you the walking room you're not really going to be interfering with anyone sleeping here if you're passing through the coach but found all the way in the back with its own door to close everything off where you've got sleeping room for one two three possibly four individuals really depending on the size of your guests because that jackknife sleeper sofa is not really designed for a full-size teenager more of a younger toddler the back bunk across the back is right at 94 inches and this bunk here and here you're going to be looking at right at 75 76 inches coming around you do have some additional storage space and tv connections also provided maybe for around a 28 inch tv and you do have a additional closet space in here with a hanging rod there's plenty of additional storage all the way throughout not bad for a full-size camper for a big family sleeping room possibly for eight or nine but you could probably squeeze maybe nine or ten in here realistically a date and time i'm making the video msrp on this coach of forty nine thousand four hundred and ninety four dollars and thirty cents for pricing and availability i'll leave a link in the description taking you back to my website to view more additional photos as well like subscribe leave me some comments tell me what you think of this coach leave me a thumbs up they definitely do help come see us